with the one and only Kennedy Davenport. Oh, giving you body. Now, I want uh, people on the internet, Kennedy wanted to let you know that she was wearing some big, gorgeous door knocker earrings, which you can see being held by Erica. There they are. And Adam, they're deluxing them right now. Look at them shine. They would have looked gorgeous on you, Kennedy, but unfortunately, they kept rubbing on her mic. Yeah, girl, I had to take them off. <laughs> but, but you wanted to let the audience know. Yes, and I have on, I had on earrings. Don't try it. <laughs> Don't try it. <laughs> now, that was what's funny to me. Are people still giving you grief over that type of thing? Um, little things. It's very little things. I'm telling you, it's like a little to none. Um, of negativity. Right, that must feel great. That it feels wonderful. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Especially after all the stuff they put you through last yes. time around. Or I've already blocked everybody right. and I just can't, you know. <laughs> and I just don't see it. But right. other than that, I mean, I just rather not see it. And that the, the most annoying thing is for somebody to tag you in, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't care about, I mean, you are entitled to not like me. You ain't entitled to your opinion or whatever, but why do you choose to tag me mm -hmm. or tag any of the girls for that matter? Yeah. Say what you want to say on your wall. Don't right. tag us. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, and they want to tag us and, you know, I'm like, bitch, you gonna get, you want your ass tagged? <laughs> <'Cause that's, laughs> you know, and people, and I have to set the record um, straight that, I mean, when I finally do acknowledge a, um, a negative comment or someone who's being negative, it's not because I'm allowing it to affect me. Mm. Is that at some point in time, we have to acknowledge these people. Mm -hmm. We have to let them know that it's not okay. Yeah. You know, people keep telling you to ignore it and, you know, don't worry about the haters and all that kind of stuff. But no, I mean, at what point when is gonna enough is gonna be enough? Agreed. You know, and if we don't if we don't acknowledge them and cuss their ass out uh -huh. and let them know, then I mean, when is it gonna ever stop? Yeah, and shame them. They deserve to be shamed. Yeah, yeah. Like here's a comment that this mother it just told me to go die or whatever. Yeah. Like that needs people need to be like, hey, screw yeah. you, get out of here. That's yeah. Um, speaking of bull delicious kind. <laughs> uh, let's talk about All Stars, sweetie. Okay. So you came back to All Stars. You knew uh, you said yourself you didn't want to be a second thought queen, mm -hmm. right? So when you got the call, what was what was the process? Did you know it was coming? Was it out of the blue? Oh, I was definitely out of the blue. Uh -huh. I did not know at all. But I knew uh, uh, Latrice I always, you know, this is like her second time telling me to believe in my body of work mm. and to believe in what I have invested in my own career. And um, I knew that I had done enough since season seven to get me back on. Yeah. So when they called, it was like very, it very much so validation mm -hmm. of me working hard to like keep, to stay relevant yep. and to keep my face in the place. Yeah. <laughs> so it was definitely a surprise. But a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> you were like, my schedule is about to double and triple. Yes, I mean, and I didn't know that either. I didn't know, you know, what my schedule would, would be like. I was just hoping to go in and do the very best that I could do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I did. Yeah. I mean, because you had talked about going on the Divas of Drag Tour and being like the queen that was, someone would want to see Alyssa and Latrice, but they weren't lining up for you. And you were yeah. like, I'm about to change this. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you really don't know how you can change things like that mm -hmm. um, because what's done is done. Right. You know, everybody's perception of you is has changed, you know, um, or is set, mm -hmm. so to speak. So um, <clears throat> I know this time will be different. I mean, even like my book is now is so much different. I, I have actually had me a line and stuff. Uh -huh. I, have more, <laughs> I have more than three people at the meet and greet. <laughs> <laughs> Was it really like that before? Yes. Wow. I, I, I would just make this I mean, That's unbelievable. I'm a, I, listen, I don't say stuff to get sympathy. I yeah. don't, you know, I don't make up things and all that. I'm a, I'm a real person. I'm an honest person. Period. I, I don't know. No, I don't, I don't know any other way. So when I say those things happen, those things happen, and it was more than once. Like I, I some meeting greets, I didn't even have nobody. 
Wow. You know, <clears throat> and you know, now it's different. So I'm, I'm so happy for that. Yeah, and a whole audience that probably never even saw your first time around. Correct. And but that, you know, I even have people come to me say they even enjoyed me on season seven. You know, so it was just more people that mm -hmm. didn't than, you know, people that did. Season seven got a bad rap in general. I yeah. remember after it came out, everyone was like, it's just the most boring season with yeah. the most boring people. Yeah, I kind of well, blame it on. I kind of blame it on production. Girl. Uh, <laughs> I do. I, th I think I blame. I blame it on them. It's like we was kind of. It was like th to me, it looked like it was kind of thrown together, and huh. like they didn't know when this was gonna happen, that was gonna happen, and you know, you just, you know. Well, all even some the challenges was like, you know. I thought it was pretty great. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna uh, say I mean, that. I had it. I had fun too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but it was like, as far as catering to, uh, you know, the Drag Race audience, uh -huh. it was probably believe not the, their favorite. Right. But though some but of all of their time. favorite stars are uh, from it. Yeah. You, Trixie, Katya, Ginger. I mean, there's a lot of big fan favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was fun. Let's talk. Let's take a sip of milk. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> sip, sip, sip that creamy and delicious milk. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> um, wait, let me get out the right band. So, um, now, you and Milk had been friendly before All Stars. You were in Divas of Drag tour together, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, when Milk said that she thought you should have gone home, on episode three instead of Thorgy, was that the first time you were getting that kind of like feeling from Milk? Um, yeah, that's that's what made me pay more attention to her. Mm -hmm. Because in the beginning, in the beginning, um, it, it's like you could already see clicks was started to form. Uh huh. And it it was it, it something some things just does it doesn't it some things don't some things happen and it's not intentional. Mm -hmm. You know we just we just cling to the people we are closest to. Right. But we don't understand that that's forming a clique. Uh huh. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Lady so, Red's getting it over there. Girl, what happened to Milk? That's the question. Go ahead and finish. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, I didn't know, like prior to, I didn't know the stuff that he was saying in um, confessionals, in confessionals, uh -huh. and the way he was thinking. But it just made sense all the way up until it was time for for his, well, until I eliminated him. <laughs> it just made sense because I was like, something is not right, mm -hmm. you know. And that's how I was feeling, like genuinely on the inside, that something just was not right. And it was like, okay. Everybody is pitching in, helping each other, especially during the bachelor. Everybody's pitching in, helping each other. He in his own world, and he is only doing certain things with certain people and things like that. And it just didn't set well. Yeah, because it because it felt shady, especially since you had been so friendly before. Yeah, and I was like, I mean, you just you would have chose Thorgy, which is I have no, you know. That's that's your that's your opinion. That's your that's that's who you would have chosen. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, really? Right. Do you have to say it out loud? Because he wasn't even up for the choice, right? Yeah, but uh, yeah, <laughs> and I was like, well, they asked. So I mean, oh, I guess was, they do want they do ask. They everything. wanted to know, <laughs> so they asked, and he said, and I'm like, but you're not even looking at the hard work that I put in. You know that I stayed up all night practicing. You know, you know my effort that I put in uh -huh. to uh, making this, uh, to trying to make this go off as smooth as possible. You know, you're not even giving it a second thought. Mm -hmm. You just would have wanted me to go home because you felt like Thorgy would have brought something bigger and better to the table. Mm -hmm. And that hurt my feelings. I bet it did. Yeah. But luckily, uh, your hurt feelings led to your newest, most iconic phrase. So f my drag, right? Yeah! <laughs> That was the time when the tides turned in your direction. Right. But I, all the people who had been haters said, you know what? Yes, Kennedy. <laughs> um, uh, so you uh, won with Ben, the main challenge that week, the bitchler, mm -hmm. with that character, which was so incredible. <laughs> now, where did that come from? <laughs> oh, there she is. Ah! Wait, did you borrow, did you borrow 
Lady Red's new titties for that? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, y'all know I had a whole bottle of um, vodka. I had a whole bottle, two flasks, <laughs> shot glasses up under there, huh? <laughs> and I was stuffed. Yes, you were. Yeah, I mean, you just, that character come from people you've met, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know. You decided not to speak with any of the bottom queens. The reason why was because at that point, I didn't see anything genuine with milk. Mm. And I didn't want to be fake with her. Right. So I didn't, and, and anything by that time, and we had this conversation, um, when the mirror conversation we had. Yeah. Th we talked about this, but they didn't show it. Hmm. So anything that she had to say at that point, I didn't, I didn't see as genuine. Right. So I didn't want to talk to her. I had nothing to say. Uh huh. You didn't want to talk to anybody else because you knew exactly what you were gonna do. Oh yeah. By that time, I mean, we have time to think, you know, and my thing was like from the beginning, if you are in this competition and you and we are going through all of this stuff together, then it, it really serves no purpose to, you know, to, to talk to anybody. We already know. Yeah. <laughs> You know, Why act fake? Just yeah. sorry, sweetie. Yeah, I just want, I, I just did not want to be fake. I didn't want to have that conversation, you know, because I'm just not that girl. I'm not that girl to be all up in your face and stuff when clearly it's, it's a problem. There's an <laughs> elephant in the room, you know. <laughs> Because that's what we would have been talking about. We would have been talking about why you need to stay. Mm -hmm, right. You know, we would have been talking about, let's see, let's talk about the real thing. Mm. Uh, you know, but I mean, I had, just like everybody else that have to have the same job to do, I had very good reason as to why to send her home. It wasn't just personal, like Trixie said, uh -huh. but it was more, it was, it was more to it than personal. Uh-huh. Yeah, that wasn't her strongest challenge. Exactly. And uh, and I would. There you I, are. I didn't see it. I didn't see it as funny, mm -hmm. you know. But I just saw that mm -hmm. the other girls worked a, a little bit harder and took on the challenge um, more so by themselves than she did. Uh, you sent her home. <laughs> you gave her that lipstick. What was the most uh, challenging? And what was your most favorite challenge in the rest of the time? The most cha the, the 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 most challenging was definitely the um, the Janet the second episode. Oh yeah, yeah right. Was, that was a tough one. It was very hard for me, and people have to understand that just because I'm a dancer don't mean I'm good with choreography. Right. And different styles of dance. I don't take dance. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't I don't I don't um, take class and stuff anymore like that. So, like, trying to maintain that type of choreography in such a small um, period of time is very hard. Yeah. And then having to lip sync at the same time is even more hard. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that was just the hardest challenge. Anything after that, I was good. Yeah. The first episode and the third all the way through, <laughs> I had a wonderful time. I didn't have no hiccups. I didn't have no problems. You know, um, the... the um, Studio 54 inspired um, challenge where we had to make our own. Yeah. I, I mean, that it was hard for me, but I didn't give up on it. It took me three tries to get that goddamn, um, <laughs> that pattern, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Trixie actually helped me and Aja actually helped me, um, like, get it together. But, um, it, all the episodes, I just, I gave it my all and I felt good doing it all. It was great. And last, what was the behind the scenes on that live production number? That was so incredible. Amazing. It was great. That was, I mean, that was that was absolutely great. And I love Todrick because he just didn't want another Janet episode. So right. <laughs> he, he he gave all of us girls the opportunity to do what we wanted and to just perfect it and to make it look good. How much time did you have to practice that before you had to do the straight through? Um, it was like the same amount of time for uh, any challenge, you know. Yeah. And it was it was hard. Mm -hmm. It was hard to get it in. <sighs> Excuse me. And to um, it was hard to get it in and to perfect it all. I mean, you were great. You slayed that. You sang. You wrote that whole verse. Mm -hmm. How? When did you record that? Like a all within a day, and then you did the choreography with Todrick all within twenty four yeah, hours. Yeah. 
Honey, are you performing that little segment of Kitty Girl live in your shows now? No. Well, honey. <laughs> oh. I was like, because, you know, I, uh, you, I'm i just, I'm picky. And I was like, if it was more singing in, in the actual production, I probably would do it. But uh -huh. it's too much rapping and stuff. <laughs> Girl, I'm the only one that, that wanted to sing. Yes, that's right, because you're the only one who really get, can't. I guess Trixie uh -huh. sings in a more country way. Yeah. But that was not an up-tempo song. It's not yeah. really thing. Before we go, I've got to find out how you felt when you saw the votes from all the queens, all the eliminated queens, that you, they pretty much all voted for you. That was so great. That, I mean, that just proves what type of person I am. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I really, I was there to help. I was there to compete. Of course, I, you know, would love to win, but I think it all came full circle. Yeah, it yeah. did. And you gave you the support of your sisters. Yes, and, and that's that's the best thing and the best feeling that you could ever have is um, to know that um, you have that type of support from your sisters, except mm -hmm. Thorgy. <laughs> except Thorgy. Yeah, she, <laughs> she didn't vote for me. Well, I think she, she maybe felt like she had to mm -hmm. make it up to Shangel after that note that she left. <laughs> well, Kennedy, we want you to know that you are our all-star, and sweetie, you Thank turned you. it so fiercely on All-Stars and here today that you snatched the trophy, honey! Yeah! <laughs> and we know you love a good man. Yeah. So you also won yourself a lap dance. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't want to forget about that. Tune into that. Thank you so much, Kennedy. We love Thank you, you so sweetie. Much for me. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Red. Thank you, Adam, Erica, and of course. Thank you, my little gay babies. We'll see you next time on Hey Queen. Yay! Bye. Honey. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey Queens! Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Hey Queen podcasts up here. Check out more of our incredible interviews down here. And of course, don't forget to what? Subscribe! Subscribe. <laughs>